what do you mean you cannot help me with this? I mean, this is my grandmother. She is 80 years old. She is traveling by herself. She doesn't speak any English. I mean, you, you, need, to, you need to do something. Okay, guys, I just need to do a little update because I'm going crazy over here, basically. Uh, you know that I'm supposed to meet my grandmother here in Barcelona. She's coming all the way from Colombia by herself. And I'm coming from LA, you know. We were supposed to meet here in, in, in Barcelona. And now, apparently, she had a, a layover in uh, Madrid. And apparently, the wheelchair never picked her up in Madrid. And, like... Apparently she lost the flight to Barcelona and I'm super stressed right now because no one is telling me absolutely anything. Um, she doesn't know how to connect to the Wi-Fi. I haven't been able to talk to her in hours and I literally don't know what to do. Like these airlines, they think that they can do whatever they want and now they're literally telling me that it is not their problem is the, if the wheelchair was not there when I literally booked the wheelchair with them. Like it... Am, am I crazy right here? Like this, this whole thing is just insane. They they do not say anything. They're basically uh, they don't even know if if she's gonna be coming on another flight from the same airline because it was a problem from the wheelchair thing in Madrid. Like who is like they're telling me to call the police, call the airport in Madrid. I have no idea. Like I bought a ticket with you. Okay, this is. Um, Europe Air, by the way, okay, and I, I, I bought a ticket with them. I I I I, I did the whole wheelchair. Uh, I booked the wheelchair with them all the way till here. Okay, my grandmother, she is 80 years old. She's flying by herself, and like they just don't care. They literally don't care, you know. And I'm here in the middle of the airport trying to figure out what to do, where to talk to. They literally are sending me to go to every single airline that is flying from Madrid to Barcelona to beg them to see if they can tell me if my grandmother is coming on a flight soon because no one are, can tell me absolutely anything about the passengers because of security. Like, this is insane. This is the worst airline that I have seen uh, like, like so far that they will just lost like someone. Alright guys, so it has been a couple hours now and uh, basically I finally was able to talk to my grandmother. She uh, was able to ask for help to someone and they, they were able to connect her phone to the Wi-Fi so she was able to like text me through WhatsApp. She is in Madrid. Basically, around 10 people who were all waiting for wheelchairs they all lost their flight because in Madrid, no one, like none, uh, none of the wheelchairs came to pick absolutely anyone. So 10 people lost their flight and now they are trying to accommodate everyone on like whatever flight is coming next to wherever they're going because it's not only to Barcelona, okay? I have been on this airport for eight hours already and I cannot leave until my grandmother is here now finally she told me that she was uh, giving a flight that is leaving Madrid in um, I think like in an hour and from Madrid to here is really not that far it's like a 40 minutes flight or something like that so I, I'm still gonna have to stay here and wait but this is absolutely ridiculous that no one is responding for this you know I they want to throw, you know, blame here, blame them, blame that. It shouldn't be like this. You are requesting a wheelchair with the airline. They should be able to literally, like, be responsible for the passengers, okay? These people on wheelchairs, these are not regular people. These are older people usually or people with some kind of disability or people who are going through something that they cannot walk they cannot you know do anything my grandmother told me that on the plane from from uh, Bogota to Madrid they took her to the entrance of the plane and no one helped her with the carry-on nothing like I don't know who are in command with these airlines but like 
these are people who are you know seniors who are having some kind of disability why is no one responding and why, why the airline is thinking that they can do whatever they want to do this is unbelievable I have never go through something like this ever in my life you know and I have my grandmother fly before my mom my my mother-in-law they all have used wheelchair services in the past on different airports I don't know if this is a problem from uh, Europe Air or from the airport of Madrid but someone needs to be doing some about this because this was the worst like eight hours of my life thinking that my grandmother my 80 year old grandmother was basically lost in another country in another city not knowing what to do i mean can you imagine that like i'm I, am i crazy here hello everyone and welcome to another travel blog after all that drama finally my grandmother is here after hours of hours of being lost in spain we are finally together and ready to start this journey to get there for her dream vacations all right guys it is day one actually it's like day four in barcelona but day one with my grandmother girl i mean i think i'm, I'm gonna have to do a whole video about what happened with air europa uh, how disgusting they were but I'm not gonna put that negativity on this video so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna let that for another video but this is the car that we just rent it's like a super super small car we are at the hotel right now and we're gonna start our first day by going to La Sagrada Familia grandma is finally here e all right guys after a long drive we are finally here in front of one of the most imponent churches that uh, are out there let me show you this again this is la sagrada familia we're gonna go inside in a second like in 40 minutes so in the meantime we're just gonna walk around and see what's out there Hi. <laughs> This is my third time in Barcelona and every single time we have to come here, La Sagrada Familia is just such an imponent and beautiful place and like I'm just in awe of this place. Alright guys, we are about to go inside of uh, the church. Like. This is so big, like look at all of the details, okay let me, let me just show you like all of these details over here the attention to details the colors the just the ambience everywhere it is such a beautiful place that you must come now remember that you have to pay for the entrance and you have to make reservations so do that in advance because it could be quite difficult if you wait till the last minute all right guys we are just leaving you know the church i'm gonna say something that is going to be a little bit controversial but i feel that this place it is so full of people of all kind of people no one is really praying right and it just doesn't feel sacred anymore i mean it's beautiful it's a beautiful church it has like all these kind of like things going on but like it feels like a literally an attraction like a museum like the loop you know but it doesn't feel like oh this is a place where you come to connect with god i think especially the fact that you have to pay like 28 euros to get inside and you have like so many people all the time it just have like zero energy i mean is it weird i mean you still have to come but like i don't know what you think get that like this <laughs> it's time for our next stop and we have to walk so much to get to this place girl so if you go porque se trago un bicho
All right, guys, remember how we were like super excited because we we're gonna go to Parkwell, you know, another big thing here in Barcelona. Well, we literally just, we went all the way from there, all the way up with my grandmother who can barely walk at this point and all the way up there and even more up just to realize guys that you have to buy a ticket to get into the park it's 10 euros but you just you cannot just arrive and buy it no you need to get it in advance okay so now we have tickets for tomorrow at 5 p.m where we're gonna have to do all of these things again so be ready guys Okay guys, I'm super excited because we are not going to part well, but we are going to eat. Time to get some delicious paella. You tell her girl, this is your skin, skin. This is your corner girl. Respect my corner, bitch. She's like, no, this is my corner, bitch. And no one wants a massage. No one wants a massage. <laughs> so another day, another adventure. We are here in a straight beach now, which is definitely not as fun as the gay beach that I went the other day girl the amount of people selling you shit think it's insane like it is impossible to relax and I am very annoyed between the girls trying to give you a massage no matter like they touch you they are so up to you uh, people selling drinks and, and blankets and like it's one after the other after the other after the other honestly I haven't seen this since Colombia and I didn't thought that in Europe we'll be seeing the same thing it's very annoying so you know what one out of ten for the straight beaches of Barcelona girl this water is freaking cold and I cannot go home by myself because I have my wallet with me because I don't want to get uh, robbed, you know, but girl, it is super clear, very nice, but very cold. After our first fail, like, try to come here, now we are finally in Park Well. This is another place that is so emblematic in Barcelona. You just have to come, walk it. But girl, honestly, you're gonna need like at least half a day to walk all around the place, go to every single, uh, you know, little part and really enjoy the beauty. Mira carrera aquí. Todo este monte. grande. Alright guys, we are right now in the Plaza de Catalunya, which is kind of like, I don't know actually how to translate plaza, but it's like a square thing when you can like hang out and just like be there. Uh, this is like the main plan here, it's just like walk around, enjoy, just relax. We're on our way to have some lunch, maybe eat a little bit more paella, and yeah, look at this guys. That's literally the life here in Barcelona. Just social life and having fun. Okay. 
okay guys we're gonna try our second paella this looks way better than yesterday's oh my god mm -hmm. wow wow okay now we have to try this this is like black black um, paella black rice wow I don't know what is that but it's so good so damn good guys I recommend this place 100% I have to find the name of the place, but it's really, really good. Okay, guys, I ordered um, Catalanian cream and Amaro something. Mmm, guys, try everything original from here. It's way too good so I rent an electric car and I have never had an electric car before and it just brought me to this random club place and it's like a house it's not a house like a place and I just plug it in and it's charging but I don't know if I don't know if this is okay this is so random. Oh my god. Am I being illegal? What is going on? Why no one is giving an explanation? Cool. Okay, this is just like an announcement. Remember that probably my last videos were of me like charging my car last night in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. Girl, don't ask me why. I just learned that the hotel had a charger yeah had two chargers and I asked the lady last night you know where can I charge my car and she sent me to this random place why she didn't let me charge my car here what is going on huh should I not come back to this hotel then like I was like three like till like two in the morning in the freaking middle of nowhere middle of nowhere like there was no car it was completely dark and they have a fucking charge here. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, this is my car. My grandma's in there, and we're just gonna start our our little trip, our next destination. We are going to the airport now because we are going to Rome next. So, get ready, guys. That's it for today. Thank you for being here with us on this amazing adventure. We are going to our next destination. My grandmother always wanted to go to Italy, not only to eat, but because she is such a fan of, you know, like history and all of that. So we are going to Rum next. Um, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stay tuned because this is just the beginning.